Roblox Souls RNG Era 8 is right around the corner. It finally looks like it's all coming together. So today, it's time we get hyped. There are some more insane upcoming auras, including Sunken, which had a custom cutscene as well. A custom cutscene? You know what that means. Let's split today's video into a custom aura showcase and a custom cutscene showcase. But don't forget, every time Souls RNG updates, we'll be giving away 10,000 Robux to my MasterChef community, which now, by the way, has over 14,000 people cooking with the name Noodle Look Is Real. You know, when you click subscribe and get that extra bonus look. But to help you cook, as always, I'm giving away five game passes on this video. All you have to do is leave a like, comment down below your username, and of course, subscribe. So if you want to join the five previous winners, keep hitting that subscribe button like it's the roll button. Today, we're going to be having a look at a very cool custom aura. And then after that, we're going to look at some whitelisted auras we've not seen yet, and also some more cutscenes. Because, again, the Souls RNG community being cooking. Because the devs haven't been cooking. What's happening? But I do have a feeling that Era 8 will be this week. Because just have a look at the update progress. So if we head over to the Era 8 progress, straight away, you can see 53 Axis's place is fully green. Axis has only gotten done it. He has completed his section. But if you look at the other ones, these are still red. But it is only one out of three. New contents is a one out of question mark, which Loki has me a little bit nervous. Words place is a one out of two. Nova. Nova's one's got me nervous as well. Model 6 out of 11. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. But still, what day is it today? It's Monday. You're going to see this on Tuesday. So they've got like four days, I guess, free as this video goes live to update the game. It would have been six weeks on Friday. Come on, devs, please cook. And 54XYZ's place has done all the planning. Hasn't done the balancing yet. And Goose has done the system work. The minor system works. The cool things. All the cutscene works. It's now only a one out of one. So that definitely means it's a Star Scourge. And one aura skill. He's still got to do that. And three bug fixes. I believe this will get done. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely not coping. I fully believe this will happen. Because that means the team will have like two weeks to revise for their exams. Surely that's more than enough time. How hard can they be? Wait, aren't Korean exams pretty hard? Did you know what else goes hard? The whitelist aura sunken by Cruffle. This was made by one person. Are you ready for this? 9.8 out of 10. So straight away, it looks like they've almost made a custom cutscene. Like, what is this? This is clean. And it goes into the aura. So the VFX and concepts is made by Cruffle. There was someone helping with the animation and someone helping with the scripting. Okay, it wasn't a one-man team, but he did cook the concept. Let's check this out. That is very, very, very clean. It's quite flat to the floor unless it has something else. Wait a second. Is that an ability? That's actually sick. It makes the whole screen vibrate. And also, if you pay attention, look at the sharks swimming around. They're sharks, right? How epic is that? The music goes hard as well. I'm praying to the gods that that is not copyright, but that goes so hard. And so does this cutscene here. We are definitely going to look at some custom cutscenes, but let me show you some more auras first. You guys can't stop cooking. So there's a Gargantua V2 by Rocka, a 9.5 out of 10. So I showed you the Gargantua rework by Super Y Fly. Well, Rocka actually made the Gargantua, and this is their own version 2 for it. Look at that. Now that looks insane. I really like the planets flying around you at the bottom. I feel like it adds so much more because the current Gargantua is very top heavy and this one just kind of balances it out. I'm a big fan. What a W V2. Bro has definitely cooked. Also the beams coming off the side here is very similar to Super Y Flies. So all in all, don't you think that is just a way better rework? He combined them both and added more. What a W Aura Maker. Next, we have the virtual rework by Super Y Fly, Frey, and Endo. 8.75 out of 10. Okay, so if you watched my last video on the Matrix Overdrive, I actually covered this aura before it got whitelisted. And you should watch that video because I'm pretty sure I called some more auras in the whitelist section. I know the secrets. But if you haven't seen it, let me put on the virtual now just so you can compare this absolutely garbage aura for 2.5 million to this super clean 
looking virtual. Everything looks amazing on this. It is still kind of flat, but that cube at the top is so clean. I absolutely love that with the ball orbiting around it. And look at the detail. There's like this ring or halo around you. There's all these projectors shining up on the screens. The title's even better. And I love this square border around you. Even though it'll make it very blocky, this whole rework just looks so much better. Like, look at this. How is this a one in 2.5 million? I don't know what the devs were thinking when they cooked this. Actually, wait, who made this aura? So if I go over into collection, virtual. It was by Epic Soul G. So it was made by an actual Souls dev. Come on, the community is cooking harder than you. Next, we have Stormal Hurricane by Slicer, Sawney, Joestar, and Creature 2. 8 out of 10. So there is the Hurricane. I'm not gonna lie, this was the other aura I called, and I think it looks so good. It would probably fill up the map if you had a lot of people with this aura. But you know what? I would love to see everyone in Windy with that. You know, when the trees are blowing around like crazy, and there's just hurricanes everywhere. 20 man hurricane server if it gets added. Let's do it. Then we have Sun Cloud by Shrouding Temple of Aura Curate. Um, someone's definitely renamed themselves. Who is that? Oh, it's Tent. Okay, that makes more sense. And the admin, Reverend Toe. 8.1 out of 10. Yo, wait, that is very clean. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of reminds me of Zenith RNG. And you know what? Speaking about Zenith RNG, there may be an Idios video on that very soon, so be sure to check it out. Me and Batcha did cook. Rage Heated Rework by Infinity Plex. 8.2 out of 10. A Rage Heated Rework? Oh my lord. That aura used to make me Rage Heated. All the homies used to think that star was a chromatic back in the day. And that actually looks really good. We're 1 in 12,800. Yo, wait, it's got a different walking animation? So this is the idle animation. This is the walking animation. I love that. They actually cooked on that one. And then we have the Impeached Rework V2 by Frey and Sino. 9.7 out of 10. Holy, okay, this is a big one. A 9.7 out of 10. I did actually cover this aura in the past, but it looks like they're cooking even more. Hopefully it has that I'm Peached feel. Oh my lord, that is probably one of my favorite V2s of a whitelisted aura. That has the Impeached feel because look at the orbs. That is so clean. They put the trails on it and that is way better. I am a big fan. The more I look at it, the more I want it because I'm going to pause it right now. Don't you think this base plate? It's definitely not called a base plate. But the thing on the ground, okay, looks absolutely insane. I love the design on that. I love the runes on the side. The orbs look clean. This giant orb has the inscriptions around the side, a patterned diamond around it. Wait, it's the same thing on the floor, but it's here with lower opacity. The detail on this aura is so good, bro. It's way better than my version of the impeached. I've got this stupid I'm peach, which I'm not going to lie. We still take those because it's a one in 400 million. Ability before we go, boom. But speaking about the impeached, check this out. Souls RNG impeached cutscene concept V3. Bro has reworked this custom cutscene three times now. Let's see if he cooked. So let's have a look. Ooh, wait, what? That was quite a cool transition. I'm not the biggest fan of the text. I like what he's trying. You know what? That wasn't the best. But at the end of the day, it is a concept and I respect it. There is one more I actually want to show you though. There's another Souls RNG impeached cutscene concept. And it says, hey guys, this cutscene is heavily inspired by the new Sovereign cutscene. And sorry for not making more concepts. I'm in the middle of my final exams. So that's why I barely have the time to make these. Took me maybe around three hours to make this. And I wanted to make it look like an actual cutscene in game. This is one thing I like about Ark. All of his cutscenes look like they can be imported to the game straight away. So let's see what bro cooked. Ooh. Wait. That is clean. So it starts off as Sovereign, but it cuts into the I'm Peach. Uh, bro, I said I'm Peach. I mean Impeached, okay? But I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why people think Sovereign is related to Impeached. It definitely isn't. I spoke to the Sovereign creator, but I like what he did there. But this comment makes a lot of sense. I like how it changes from Sovereign to Impeached because Impeached is like a fallen king. Way, that is low-key genius. Ark the ghost. But for real, that looks like it could be in the game straight away. But you know, what? Let's stay on Ark's channel because he is one of the goated aura cutscene creators. Just check this one out. Souls RNG Archangel cutscene concept by Ark. Ark doing the Archangel. Let's go. So it took him four days and look at what he used. He used everything. All right. 6x look. Boom. Oh, I like the clouds. The halo going on top. Yo, I actually like this a lot. 
icon's better. Yo, wait, I need to go back to that icon. So the first icon which pops up is like a revamped cross. So I'm pretty sure the current one is just plain. And I love how the second one added wings as well. Bro is actually so creative. I hope he does just as well in his exams as he does making these auras. What an absolute chef. And I'm guessing he actually has Archangel on his main account. So that's why he's flexing at the end for 20 seconds. Gravitational V3 cutscene concept by Souls G. A gravitational cutscene. Okay. Are we going to see some galaxies? Ooh, wait, this is clean. I like that star. This is very clean clean. Oh, I did just get flashbang though. Oh my lord. And it goes into the gravitational V3. I'm not gonna lie. I actually forgot that Meridian reworked gravitational for the third time. I still think this gravitational here is way better than the original. But if they had a V3 version, I'm all up for it. Chromatic cutscene, but it is a 100 million aura cutscene. Noodle look is fake. Did bro really just say noodle look is fake? Well, I'm not gonna lie. We all know it's a meme, but we are taking over. Look at this. Wait, I just clicked on it. I've not refreshed the stats found. You can see there's 2,759 new messages, but I see a noodle look is real already. But if I go to the top and type in noodle look is real, boom, 14,143 results. What is actually happening? We all know this started as a meme, but we are actually actually taking over. And I'm not gonna lie, if you get offended by a name, that's on you. Because this is actually brilliant. It's a lot of fun. And what the hell? Who is that with Glitch? It's Eternal Madness? What's he doing in here? He's one of the OG Glitch owners. But let's check out his chromatic cutscene. And I like how he's done the sound waves at the bottom. The icon's a bit scuffed. I mean, I like how he did the black screen as well. I respect it. You might not respect the noodle look is real, but I can respect hard work when I see it. I just want us all to cook together. But let's see what some other people have cooked in the aura cutscenes. Souls RNG sailor cutscene concept. So let's have a look. Wait a second. What happened to bro sailor? He's missing the boat and he's just stood there. But let's have a look at this cutscene. So the star is different. I like how there's rain. That is very subtle. This is not over the top. I'm actually a fan of this so far. Ooh, the icon. So I love how bro added this little boat. It is very clean. It's very subtle. The star doesn't fit, I'm afraid. That's about it. But I like the rain. So I'm not gonna lie, every time I use Sailor, I always think it's raining and I feel like popping a heavenly too. You know what? We don't need to do it in rainy anymore. We have the Abyssal Hunter and this is gonna be me chasing down the Souls RNG devs. Give me that update now. I'm coming for you. Update the game. Yo, why does this look so crazy? Crazy though. Next, we have Siderium. If it had a star, Souls RNG cutscenes part three. Okay, Jason, what have you cooked? Ooh, wait, that is a very cool colored star. I'm a fan. I was short and I was straight to the point. Thank you, Jason. I won't need to hunt you down. That is a very good choice of colors for that star. But I guess there's one more we should check out. Actually, two more. The first one I want to show you is another custom cutscene for an aura not in the game. And that is the virtual Kinesis, the community aura, which again, I did actually cover this aura in the last video before it was put in aura submissions and before it gets whitelisted in the future. So you can check out the aura there. But let me show you this custom cutscene because bro cooks like crazy with this one. Ooh, so the music's clean. I love the little diamonds flying around, the cube which flew around, the numbers. Wait, that was very clean. I am a big fan. I'm not gonna lie. That also kind of matches that virtual rework. Same color scheme. But going on to the final cutscene, it is by the one and only Josty. History will be made soon. And before we watch this, let me just remind you who Josty is. Josty made this chromatic Genesis cutscene concept, which was actually a lot of your favorites. And if you don't remember it, here it is. And it has that cool train. The text and everything is so clean. The train is back. The aura is about to appear. The diamonds were there and there it is. The Chromatic Genesis, which is still one of my favorite auras in the game. I actually love this aura. It is so clean. And that cutscene's even and that cutscene's even cleaner. But what does he mean by history will be made soon? So this is like a normal overture. Ooh. 
June 22nd, 2024. What is bro cooking? Wait, that's this Saturday. What has bro got in store for us? If Era 8 is not out by Saturday and you want to see another video showcasing this amazing upcoming cutscene, let me know down in the comments below. But if you don't want to miss a video, be sure to hit that subscribe button.